obviously you have the relationship with Brandon. How did those negotiations go? Why did you feel like you needed to trade up one pick? Um, and how important is that fifth year option to you guys? Yeah, the fifth year option definitely important. I think that was a obviously a big reason, you know, to trade up into the first round. Um, you know, besides the player, you know, we liked we love Xavier. Um, everything he bought, not not only as a person but as a player, like his ability to ta to attack the ball when it's in the air, um, his ability to run with it after the catch. Um, he's just big. He's strong. He's physical. Um, I think he has a lot of upside. Um, so you know, we we wanted to take that opportunity to go get our guy. Um, when, and that's what we felt. I'm sorry. When you looked at the, the way that the draft was shaping up, and we knew a lot of offensive players were taken, but a lot. Was there a point tonight where you may say, hey, we need to get in on this? Did that, there was there any change yeah, going on? Yeah, I think on? like, you know, I think once the wide outs, you know, were taken, Brian Thomas was taken, and then, you know, I felt like there was going to be a little run on, on wide outs after that, and then Xavier Worthy got taken, and, you know, we, we like some of those guys, and, you know, with uh, Xavier out there, you know, we were just like, we don't want to, we don't want to put ourselves in a bad situation to where, you know, we're not going to be able to get the guy that we want to get. Um, he was our target. Uh, we really liked him, and we went and got him. Did you have a thought that? Uh, did you know what what you thought Buffalo might do? I wasn't sure what they were going to do. I talked to Brandon before the draft, and you know, he just said, "Hey, like, if you," I said, "If you have any interest in, you know, trading back and you know, trading out of your pick, you know, give me a call." Um, so obviously he gave me a call and, you know, kind of took that opportunity to jump up there to 32 and, and, and get our guy. Dave, you kind of uh, had to cover for Xavier a little bit this week. Uh, did, did, did he let the cat, obviously kind of let the cat out of the bag? And did, were you all that high on him all along? We loved him. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and lie about that for sure. Um, but, yeah, I meant what I said. You know, there's a lot of guys that, we were excited about at that area, you know, 33, uh, even late, you know, in, in the first round. Um, and I think it was just really cool for me with my first experience, you know, really being in the in the draft room for the whole time to see the process, really to see his patience and just like working through, you know, seeing seeing the guy starting to come off the board and just saying, not yet, not yet, you know. And then in, in Dan Morgan fashion, you know, there was there was daylight and he went. Bang! And he hit the hole just like uh, everyone has seen him do uh, in his career. It was just amazing uh, to see the patience of it and for it all, you know, come to us like this to get the guy that we love. You know, for us, it's this whole process has been about, you know, let's let's get guys, not just great football players, but guys that really are us, you know, our Panthers. Um, and so this is just a, a memorable one for sure for us um, that we won't ever forget. You, yeah. Schematically, how does he yeah. fit into what you want to do offensively? And is the fact that he's he's different than a lot of the yeah. body types you've got play into that? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, Darren, I mean, that's that's a great point you make right there. You know, just our offense, the versatility of how we use our players, um, just going back to last year in Tampa, even before it in, in Seattle, but just the, the versatility is huge for us. You know, so when you get a guy who can really run, a guy who can high point the ball, a guy that can carry it, and you can give him the ball different ways, um, short, you know, just, he just brings a lot of versatility. Now, with that being said, he's got a long way to go. He's got he's to learn our stuff. You know, he's got to, you know, figure out the system and, and find out how he fits into the whole thing, not just the pass game, but the run game as well, you know. So um, just speaking to that, you know, I, th I think I'm just, I'm really excited to bring uh, his talents to our offense. Um, and at the same time, I'm sure he knows, too, he's got a lot of work in front of him. Did, did, he, did, you, the, did, he, did you've been around, obviously, well, did he remind you anybody when you're watching him on film? Uh, you know, I really don't want to make any, you know, comparisons. You know, I think, uh, I do think Xavier's, he's a unique guy. You know, he's big, he's strong, uh, fast, physical. Um, he just had a lot of things that we loved. And then bringing him in here for his 30 visit, you know, just kind of sitting with him. You know, we were sitting in the draft room with him, me and Dave, and uh, some of the scouts, and you know, just to kind of talk to him and like feel his passion for the game, his love for the game. Um, it just really made you love him even more. So uh, we're just really happy to have him. 
saw a little bit of the reaction on TV, but what was that first conversation like with him when you guys told him? I'm still jacked up about it. Uh, yeah, just it, it was loud on his end, so like we, we really couldn't even like communicate. And I think we were both just really excited. He was excited. We were excited. It was just a really cool moment, you know, for him and his family. Dave, you we talked to you the other day about you wanting to get to know a guy's story, and yeah. Xavier's got quite a story um, in battling through adversity. What did what did him telling his story to you mean to you as the guy who's going to be coaching him up over these next? He just showed self-awareness. He, he just showed um, the thing, you know, that I talked about with everybody is just a guy who, who can reflect on, you know, the challenges that he's had each year. He was able to, in a in a really clean order, just kind of take me to, and then I got to this point, and um, Dell Loggins, the offensive coordinator at uh, South Carolina, you know, he's he's a guy that I know, and he, he credited him for, you know, giving him exposure in a pro-style type of offense, and the way that they used him this past year uh, was impressive. He was able to articulate all that. He was able to to teach our coaches what he was doing, what the offense was, um, and that all that part was really impressive as well. When you when the video came out this week with him saying you guys have told him he was gonna be your guy, you said you told fifty guys that. Yeah. But where did he rank on your fifty guys <laughs> that you told that? Oh, he was high up there because, like I said, it's a combination of of the ability to bring an element to the football field, but then also just the fit, the Panther fit, you know. So um, definitely, he was one of the, the higher guys there, which is why we were willing to you know go through the process of talking to teams and trying to figure this whole thing out, you know. Um, so hopefully that answered that. Do you all view him as a factor in kick return? Yeah, I think, I think he can do that as well, uh, especially with the new kickoff rules, you know, just, uh, to have that size, that strength and that explosiveness that he brings. Um, I think he's going to be really, really good at that as well. Was that piece of it, just, did that sort of just enhance his profile, as you said, with the new rules? Um, you know, I think it's just receiver first. I mean, that that just kind of blows you away when you turn the tape on and you see that physical, you know, specimen, you know, just going, attacking the ball in the air, you know, taking a short pass, turning it into, you know, a long gain. Um, I think that was more impressive than anything. Brandon, when Brandon moved right ahead of you and you knew they were kind of in the market for a wide receiver too, did, did you start to th- – when did that conversation start? Did you start to wonder this is kind of by design from from him to yeah, go in? Yeah, I think like everybody's boards are different. So like, you know, but being paranoid, you know, you're sitting there, you really like guys, you kind of target guys. Um, so in a way, you become a little paranoid. You think people are jumping up to get your guy, and it doesn't always turn out that way. So, uh, you know, thank God, you know, nobody took him, and we were able to get him, and we got our guy, and you know, he's a great fit for what we do. And you uh, enter your first draft without a first-round pick. You've got kind of picks scattered, and now I don't know if it's by design, but you're going to pick in all seven rounds if you stay with what you got. Um, how important is that to kind of have, like, the geography of the board and be able to have your say in kind of each round? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, it's been, it's been a long, uh, hard process. Um, our scouts have done such a good job. Our coaches have done such a good job just kind of through the whole process, just the communication and, you know, we've talked about this the whole time, the alignment, kind of knowing the type of players that we want, the type of athletes that we want. Um, you know, so I think getting a guy like Xavier, I think it just like really shows, you know, the the togetherness that we all, you know, we all see things the same way, and and, and we got the guy that we targeted. We're you getting called about getting uh, dogs. I yeah. Guess it was, I mean, does this fit in that category? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. He uh, he he's definitely has that about him. Uh, you'll get around him. He's uh, he's a great young man, um, but he's also he's you know you can tell he's got that dog in him, that that look in his eye, and uh, I think he's. You know, not only a special player, but a special person too. So, but yeah, he definitely has that dog mentality. Dave, are you comfortable with the uh, how the wide receiver room is shaping up now? Absolutely. I mean, I've I've loved just working with the guys we had for the last three weeks. You know, and uh, being able to kind of envision how we would utilize the different talents in the room. So, you know, we just added another you know element to it where. You know, like I talk about this youth, you know, the juice that young guys bring, the hunger that they have, the eagerness uh, to work, you know, just their their energy, right? That whole thing 
it elevates the whole room, you know, not just the receiver room, but also the offense, you know, just as you, as you continue to challenge our roster with talented guys like this, you know, um, it's going to be a really cool um, fit for him as well, just to be able to see how these veteran receivers in front of him work, you know, and you see Thielen and you see Deontay and these guys, they got a way about them, you know, just being on the field this past week. Um, Xavier is going to really benefit from being around that group. A couple more. Yeah. Were you getting calls already for 33 or? Um, yeah, I think uh, definitely getting some teams sniffing around, just kind of wondering, like, you know, what we're thinking, 33 and 39, we were getting some calls. So um, I'd venture to say that we'll probably get some calls on 39 tomorrow. This was a heavy offensive first round, so a lot of defensive talent fell to, to day two already. When you guys look at the board, how comfortable do you feel like you can attack a lot of the spots, maybe not necessarily on defense, but in general of what you want to hit going yeah. forward? I think there. I think there's a lot of players that we like still on the board. So, obviously, obviously that's a really good thing. And be, to be able to, you know, keep pick 39 and still have 65, 101, and then the two fives and our seven. So, um, I think we're set up pretty good for the rest of the draft. And I'm excited to kind of see who's going to be there and who we're going to be able to take at 39. Dave, what what jumped out to you on tape about Xavier? Uh, first of all, just the athletic traits, right? Just like height, weight, speed, you know, 6'1", 221, 439, you know, really balanced hands. Um, that's a pretty good start. You know, then you look at the versatile ways that the Gamecocks were able to use him out of the backfield, jet sweeps, short crossers, perimeter screens, down the field posts. There really isn't much else we do with receivers. He's, he's done it all. You know, and um, and in in the past, you know, coaches that I've been with have said, you know, how quickly can you make a cut up of a player that does all the things you need? That's how you can really, you know, gravitate towards guys. Whether it's a quarterback making all the throws that you need to see, whether it's a receiver running the different routes, you know, and does he need polish? Absolutely. But it was just to be able to see that on film gives you a lot of confidence, and and it really helps me envision you know, him fitting into our offense. So um, that stuff really just jumped off the tape. Dave, there have been some who have compared him to DK Metcalf. Do you see that at all? Um, other than other than big, fast guy, you know, it's a different player. It's a different type of player. Um, I don't really want to get into too much of the comparisons, but um, I definitely do see just, you know, some of the physical traits. You know, this is, this is a rare combination of athletic ability. Right, thanks. Appreciate it, See you guys. It was 200? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. All right. Yep. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. See you See tomorrow. You